Hi, I'm Deborah here at Daniel Smith, and I'm here today with artist Che Lopez. Hi, Che, how are you? Hello. Well, I want to thank you for coming and talking with us today and sharing your experiences with our Daniel Smith watercolor sticks. My pleasure. You know, I think you're one of the first artists to actually really uh, start using them. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself as an artist? Sure. I think my first memory using watercolor was uh, in high school. My art teacher brought in a, a still life. Thirty minutes went by. I think I was the only one actually still watching her at the moment. <laughs> um, from there, I ended up kind of working with her, and then I went ended up going to Cornish, where I graduated there in illustration design. Mm -hmm. Learned different mediums, but I always came back to watercolor, my first love. From there, now I teach at the Kirkland Arts Center, uh -huh. where I teach in different mediums, but watercolor is my first love and kind of what I enjoy doing. With the watercolor sticks now, that gives me the freedom now to really paint bold, right? And that's one thing I love about them. When the watercolor sticks first came out, what did you think of them, Che? Well, at the time I was working at the Daniel Smith store, mm -hmm. and I asked myself, how would I use these? I picked them up, I started drawing with them, okay, I dig that. Now I start putting out a little water to it, like, hey, this is, this is bold. It, it's, it's, <laughs> like magic. Know, it's like magic, exactly. Uh -huh. Splatters came out. I was like, whoa, this is great because the amount of color that's just chalked in these things, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So you can either draw a thing and paint with them. It's just, it's fun. And it kind of brings me back to that childhood of just having a good time and painting. It loosened me up. And I think that's where my work is going for me. It's more loose, energetic, and just having fun with the medium again. How about the quality of the watercolor sticks? Can you tell us how they compare to our Daniel Smith extra fine watercolors that come in tubes? Sure. I, I don't, there's, no, there's no difference, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. There's no, no difference. The difference is you can pick this up and you can draw with it. But other than that, it's the same quality. I love it. So what makes the watercolor stick such a creative and exciting tool for artists? And why are they so essential? Oh, for the first thing. First thing is you can draw with these things. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the amount of color that comes off the stick on the paper is amazing. But what makes it shine is when you add water to it. You grab a brush, you load it up, you start painting it either on the paper or on or you know off the stick itself. Mm -hmm. You know, start going. You just start getting down, or you can just you know load up your load up your hands. You can put as many as many. If you have bigger hands, probably better for you, right? But I, you know, <laughs> I have medium sized hands, whatever. I can let me you know three or four, or five or so. Start painting off the sticks. You know, and they, it kind of splatters a little bit because you're kind of flicking the uh -huh. brush as you're painting. Oh, right. And that kind of naturally adds texture, uh -huh. adds chaos, adds a little movement. Uh -huh. And it kind of brings things to life a little bit. And that's the beauty of these sticks. It seems know. like bringing them closer to your painting actually has it a does. advantage instead of having to dip around in a palette. You've got them right there. You've got them right there. Boom, boom, boom. You're close. You stand back. Draw something. You, exactly. You know you've done something. You know you've painted when your hands are full of color. That's the coolest <laughs> thing about it. Thank you very much, Shay, for sharing with us your experiences with painting with our Daniel Smith watercolor sticks. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. We're so happy to. Thank you.